from the Church Without Judgment, a short message from your host, your brother Mark Anthony Connor, from the Church Without Judgment. If you're new, this is where we spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. The mission to save the lost through love, unconditional love, agape style, by the fruits of the Spirit. The vision will always be the kingdom of God. And the mission will always be Jesus. He was crucified a few thousand years ago. And I have a message for you. I have a message for you. Turn it down. Bless y'all. He is the best. I have a message for you today. I'm going to pray. And it is live a life worthy of the Lord. Seven keys to divinity. How can I live a life worthy of the Lord? Seven keys to divinity. Taken from Colossians chapter 1. And we're going to start in about 13. I think so. Oh no, we're going to go up. Praise God. I love you right now. Father God, forgive me of my sins, which are many. Cleanse us, Lord, right now and bring in salvation. Holy Spirit, I must decrease so that you must increase. And I hear Jesus saying, if you lift me up, I'll draw all men to thee, Abba. The Godhead in Jesus name. Live a life worthy of the Lord. I want to go to Colossians chapter 1. This is the Colossi church. The epistle of Paul to this church. He came to them to tell them the mystery revealed, his body, the church. Colossians 1, 8. 1, 8. Who also declared to us your love in the spirit. Everything is out of the spirit. He who also declared to us your love in the spirit. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, this gospel, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge. See, I want to show you how to live a life worthy of the Lord, the seven keys to divinity is in Colossians chapter 1. So this is what it is. Do not cease to pray for you. This was Paul talking to the church. He was always confident only in the spirit and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom. See, he's speaking. The kingdom of God is this and spiritual understanding. See, worldly understanding will not get us far. God created us in his own image so that we could take dominion, understand it. I'm gonna show you how, that you may walk. How do you wanna walk? Worthy of the Lord. This is how we must do it, fully pleasing him do you want to please the Lord? This is how you do it. Being fruitful in every good 
work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So there's some work that we must do. And then we must increase the work in the knowledge of God. Strengthening leaven with all might. How? How are we going to be strengthened? Do you need strength or are you weak? I hear him saying he's going to mount up those eagle wings. and He's going to have you walking a little faster. Then he says he'll allow you to run. In a minute, we're going to get this engine going and we're going to move at a pace of God. Not our own personal pace, but Jesus' pace. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power for all patience. You need patience and long suffering with joy. These are action words of the fruit of the spirit. A few of them in 11 given thanks. That's thanksgiving to who to the father who has qualified us. Only he can do it for us to be priests. And Levites us to be partakers. That means you take something of what? His inheritance, the inheritance of the saints in the light. Don't be in the dark. He has delivered us. This is powerful. He has delivered us from the power of darkness. Of the power of darkness. How? And conveyed. And he conveyed. That means he told us. And he conveyed, he put us into, he, he put us into a new condition, a new standard. He says, and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. I'll be back in a second. Did you hear that? I'm going to have some of my coffee. Take that in for a second. I want to show you all something. This is called live a life worthy of the Lord. Do you want to know how you can do it? And then it's seven keys to divinity. I'm going to show it to you. First of all, we have to be qualified. When you get a job, there's qualifications in an application. And then there's job descriptions and duties. I want to show you this. We're qualified. He has delivered us from the powers of darkness and conveyed, conveyed us into the kingdom of, of, his, of the son of his love. Of his love. I want to show you something. First of all, he rescued us from the dominion of darkness. The dominion of darkness. This is how we did it. The seven keys to divinity. Excuse me. The seven keys are found in what I just read. Colossians. Number one, we must be fruitful. We must be fruitful. See, he says in here, for this reason, we also since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. So we must pray for each other and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord. How do you walk worthy of the Lord? Fully pleasing him. Number one, you must be fruitful in every good work. Number one, how do you be fruitful? It's all in love. Everything comes from an internal love. It comes from inside of you. Number one, to please him is being fruitful in every good work. Everything you do, change your mindset and think about others and think about yourself after you help them. Number one, being fruitful in every good work and then and then, and increasing in knowledge. Number two is increasing in the knowledge of God. That's godly, godly wisdom. Number one, being fruitful in every good work. Then it's increasing in the knowledge of God. How? By spending time with him daily, reading your Bible, praying, adoring him, being thankful for what you have. Then number three, 
Then number three, after you do that, after you please him and start to work and get some wisdom and then you're strengthened, you're going to be strengthened with all might. Strengthened with all might. How are you going to be strengthened with the deutimus? I'm going to show you how you're going to do it. He's not going to leave you an orphan. He's not. According to his glorious power, you're going to get strength. Deutimus is like dynamite. That Greek word deutimus is dynamite. He's going to give you power according to his glorious might. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, he says, I am the Lord to give you power to receive wealth. That is the whole internal ability to have it all. That wealth is a spiritual wealth first, and then it lands in the natural, and then it's supernatural. That's what I said. Then it's, it's according to his glorious might. And then after you get the glorious power for, for all patience and long suffering. So what happens is after you get the glorious might, you're going to get great endurance. After you get great endurance, you're going to get patience. Do you need endurance to finish your race? Because you got to hand it off to me or someone else. Don't drop the baton. Pick up your Bible. Then you're going to get some patience. That's part of the fruit. Then joyfully joyfully sing a new song sing hum dance whatever talent you got give it to him when you give it to him he will give it back to you then the last thing give in thanks we must in 12 give him thanks giving thanks to the father who has qualified us give in thanks to the father listen to this we must give thanks to the Father. You know why? He has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Do you understand this qualification is not of man, but it is of God. To be partakers means to be in covenant. It means to be in union. It means to be in fellowship. Koinonia, the Greek word koinonia means fellowship. The fellowship for the saints. That means we can be at the table of the Lord. Judas isn't there anymore. He's not there. I got to do 15, 16. He is. I want to show you who the Lord is. I'm getting excited. He is the image. What image? Look in the mirror of the invisible God, the firstborn of over all creation. For this is it by him. All things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things, all things were created through him and for him. And 17, 1 Colossians, and he is before all things and in him all things consist. All things consist. There's nothing apart from Jesus Christ. I wanted to show you the seven keys to divinity. If you want a life worthy of the Lord, do this. I'm shutting it down because he rescued. He rescued us from the dominion of darkness. See, we're taking dominion, but if you're in darkness, Satan has dominion over you. He's rescued us. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed. He made sure. He tore the veil. He conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love. The son of his love. So do this. Be fruitful. Number one, will you please grow in the knowledge? in the knowledge of Christ Jesus. And then he will strengthen you with all power. He will strengthen you with all power. How? According to his glorious might. Then after you're going to get some endurance, you won't be tired. Then you'll be patient. And you know, now you won't be a little agitated. Have you felt agitated? Are you upset? Have you, have you, can you sit, can you not sit still? Do you feel something's going to happen? But he says, after the great endurance, you will get patience and then joyfully sing a new song. And then you will give thanks. Will you give him thanks? Because he has delivered us from the powers of darkness and conveyance.
conveyed us. He conveyed, that means that he transported us. He took us from a condition and then he changed it. And then he put it back together from the initial system. And now you are new in Christ Jesus. The old is gone, the former nature. Now you're a spirit and now you're adopted back into the royal priesthood. This priesthood is only by Jesus. This is not a man-made priesthood and he is before all things and in him all things consist. 18 and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence, the first fruits. Preeminence means the best. Preeminence means it is official. Preeminence means he is the one. There's nothing before or after it. Preeminence means the alpha and omega, the beginning, the beginning and the end. He has preeminence. He has preeminence for you. Will you take his hand today and walk on water and walk on water? Take his and walk on water for you. It's his preeminence. He is the firstborn from the dead. It's his preeminence. The seven divinity keys. It's in the blood. It's in the blood of Christ. Oh, it's in the blood of Christ that holds. He's the firstborn from the dead, Jesus Christ. And always remember, always remember a life worthy of the Lord. You must be fruitful, growing in the knowledge of Christ Jesus, strengthening with all power. You will be strengthened according to his glorious might. Seven keys, great endurance. With him, Holy Ghost, you will receive patience and you will become joyfully amused, giving thanks and adoring him. For he is the Lord. For you, his dominion comes for you. His dominion comes for you. Take care from the church without judgment. And always remember, He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. He conveyed us by His breath. He blew us a kiss and we were sanctified. We love you from Church Without Judgment. Bye-bye.